that was. I don't know. Leave it. Leave it all. He ta- he takes a swig. <laughs> Look at his face. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to Internet Down. I'm your host Matt. We're loving and joining joining can be t- t- English. I can't, but we're gonna go with it. Uh, joining me today is. I'm leaving is... all of it. I'm leaving all of it. <laughs> oh, I'm Johnny. Joining me today is. I'm Johnny. I said it. And. Sienna. Mark. <laughs> is um, this I why you wouldn't show us your camera? Say. Um. You know, on the last podcast, uh, you know, I kind of, I, you know, went a little, I understand that things went, got a little heavy and a little overboard, but I'm, I'm here to let everyone know that I am a gentleman at the end of the day. And today is the day that I truly show everyone that I'm a gentleman. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have my scotch in hand, um, some, some triple aged scotch. Um, and you know, just here to have a good time. And just I'm... here to show everyone who I really am, and th- that I'm a gentleman inside. And and I'm Johnny, and I'll behave this week too. No, fuck you guys. We're having a fun podcast here. No, uh, we have to be. Monster we have to be, trucks, <laughs> monster trucks and stuff. Listen, <laughs> I, I did not expect the video uh, that that would get all the TikToks and everything to, would be us. Uh, going on a lengthy discussion, an and a, half. a lengthy discussion. <laughs> yes, my apologies on that one. I don't um, often listen to the podcast, just like outside of editing and everything like that. Uh, I listen. I was on a, a trip recently, and I listened to that whole entire episode again. And me too. The people that- around me thought I was having a seizure. <laughs> I yeah, was laughing I was- so hard. I was giggling. Yes. The, I was listening to a podcast at work, and I was giggling the entire time. Like, what are you listening to? You? Why do you keep like smiling, laughing to yourself? Like, listen. Yeah. What were you listening to? If I to? told you, My you would judge podcast. me. So that was uh... thinking. Thinking back on on times of old is. Very nice. I I I I have a joke about me and my 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 old friends on the on the golf course, but I'll save that for another time. <laughs> Mark, Matt, Mark, and me. How long all... have you been in this getup for? As long as I turned on my camera. <laughs> oh, are you like in a? a... You should, Mark. I have a whole suit I could have worn to this entire podcast. You should have well, fucking coordinated. I just realized this with me. you I mean, a dress I understand, shirt. but it's not really a bit, and I, there was no coordination. I'm, I just, I just, for me, I understand that I, I need to show everyone that I'm a true gentleman. Do you have the ball cap? Of... Can you put the ball no. cap on and look like Lex Luthor? Ah. Uh, that, that's see that that's something a gentleman uh, a non gentleman would do, but me I don't know. scotch in hand. No, oh, hang on, hang on. First of all, first of all, I don't. Is that real scotch? Have you actually taken a sip out of that scotch? Are you going to? I don't want to break the fourth wall, but it's actually maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find, I didn't have like any iced tea or something. <laughs> I didn't have like any iced tea or something or like food coloring. Maple syrup's the closest thing that I had. So I just poured a cup of maple syrup. I never, I didn't actually take a sip of it when I took a sip of, just a second ago. I literally just put it close to my lips. I love that the only brown liquid that you had like in the vicinity <laughs> was a maple, maple syrup. syrup. <laughs> you know what? In his defense though, that is like the most common like sauce. <laughs> The only brown liquid I had. I wanted uh, like iced tea or something. Remind everyone but... that Mark lives in a, a city that you could walk to anywhere and get the things that you need. Yes, but I thought about well, for one, not in my neighborhood. My neighborhood is is a, is a walk. Um, but also I didn't think about this bit until like an hour ago. Okay, that's fair. It I also I have like bit. four bottles of like the cheapest scotch you can think of. I, could... <laughs> I had I had like cheap scotch at at, at one point. I don't know what happened to it. Well, not scotch. It was like it was like whiskey or some shit. I'm not a brown That's liquor guy. I can't. I I'm a clear a clear liquor guy when it comes to. Normally, I am too. The first time I ever got like um, God, I hope my dad doesn't hear this. First time I ever got uh uh. This is his first podcast. Legit... The last podcast is your mom's first podcast. This is your dad's first podcast. First time I ever got legit trashed was um, there it was a cast party for um a summer show I was doing right after I turned 21 and we went and had, there was a bar that kept that stayed open late for the cast. They were specifically like, Hey, you're doing a great thing for the city. Uh, we're, we're going to stay open a couple hours after closing just for you guys. Come on in. 
I I'm gonna tell you right now. I there's the number of drinks I remember having, and then there's the number of drinks my credit card said I had. Uh, I've been there, and those numbers were not the there. same. And it was all because this place specialized. It was a brewery, so like it's it specialized in um, in like beers. But I, I wasn't. This was my first time ever like out at a bar or anything. It was my first time. I was experimenting. I was saying like, is this something that's my style or anything? Yeah. Um, yeah. And Jake was there. He was gonna drive me home. I was. Everyone was safe and happy and everything. Um, but they had. Four things on the menu, basically. It was just these four things. It was their, uh, I forget if it was an ale or whatever it was, their specific type of beer or whatever that they did at this place. Um, I think it was a pale ale or something like that. Uh, and then it was uh, tequila and lime, vodka and, and lemon, and mead. It was legit. Yeah, like real mead? Like legit mead. Uh, <laughs> and... Now I'm I'm not a, I'm not like an experienced drinker or anything, and mead had a little thing next to it that said twelve percent, and I was like, huh, I wonder what that means. <laughs> I you didn't know what that meant? No, I knew what it meant. I was just, I'm playing it up, but I I I had at least two of those. He didn't. He didn't I probably think about, had. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I probably had two of everything worth? on the menu. Wait, bottles worth or just like no two drinks i probably had two drinks of everything on the menu oh, oh man no. oh that that's Jesus. yeah it was a lot it was a yeah, lot because get hangovers like, and i can imagine oh yeah no, there's I like, there's like some drink. drinks there's like there's like some drinks you drink and they're like oh my god this is gonna be like you ever have those drinks that like you know it's the drink that you're not gonna remember afterwards no, you know what but I mean, I, I, the one thing I remember about that night is I only spilled one drink, and it wasn't me who spilled it. It was somebody else who spilled it. <laughs> That's always the case. And, but uh, I remember, uh, there we had um a friend of mine who who who's working me with me now on other things. Uh, she's from Scotland, and she can fucking do it with the best when it comes to partying. Uh, and even she was like geez slow down when she saw me like we've been here 10 minutes and i had two drinks in my hand you know i th that's the reason i went there i was i was experimenting like i don't ever have the ambition in my life <laughs> to get to that point ever again because i no also one... i threw up on the side of jake's car i remember that <laughs> uh and i we drove past where he had to pull over for me to throw up and there was just this red like Mead kind of has this like red tint, it, like kind of like Scotch, where it's got that kind of brown red tint to it, because it's made out of like honey and stuff. And it, uh, there was a stain on the ground outside, like uh, down the street from where I live, for like three days. Like oh, you're Jesus Christ, it was so bad. It was real. When bad. you drink, when you drink like drinks like vodka uh -huh. and and stuff like that, and you drink a lot of it, your puke tends to turn red. Yeah, and it's like the way mixes in your it has nothing to do with like meat itself and more to do with the okay. alcohol I always the way it mixes in your body that. yeah I've no never... it's it's uh i've puked i've puked like i've drunk like like straight up like, like ounces of like i've i've um i'm not proud of it but when i was in like high school and stuff we stole my dad's uh i hope he's not I hope he's not gonna listen yeah, to this, this is podcast. Not... but uh it's fine i don't care as this was in high school so i stole one of my dad's like vodka things right so uh me and my friends well, whispering you 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 have your <laughs> own as, as if you can hear me right now. yeah 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 like he's gonna hear me he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna know <laughs> um gonna no know. so like we 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 took it right and um me and my friends like i i i started chugging it i'm like ah, it's gonna be fine i chugged it's it gonna be fine. like i got like like halfway through then it puked it back up because you can't chug vodka it's impossible no it's all um uh, and then, like, I continued going, and then I blacked out, and I got home, and I puked in my bed, and it was bright red. Mm -hmm. And it's like it just has to do with the alcohol, the way it mixes you with your like your and your blood and when your your stomach acids is the way I've it mixes. I've never had red throw up. I've, I've had it plenty of times. I've I had think it plenty it's times. um, I don't know. I I've I'm, like there there wasn't a lot of drinking in my house growing up, so like that one night was like the night I was like okay. I'm going to experiment. I'm going to see what this is about because, like, my, my mom drank on and off a little bit. My dad was a hardcore, like, no drinker guy. Um, but I, it was something I was like, you know, I'm my own person. I'm going to have experience. I'm going to 
try this out. And I like, like I said, I had Jake there. He was going to drive me home. Nothing was going to, uh, I was surrounded by Nothing a, lot was of, go wrong. a lot of good people yeah. with me. It was like, yeah, this, this is a great opportunity. I'm with this cast and crew. They left this place open for, I'm going to fund a local business. <laughs> I, it, I, it was a lot of money. Like I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot of money. But I was I was doing fine oh, at imagine. the time, um, so I didn't have I didn't have too much too much to worry about there. Um, mm -hmm. And now it's with catch a movie, we're just degenerates every week. <laughs> uh, drinking is drinking is expensive. Yeah, no, it, it's not a it's not a cheap hobby. <laughs> no, it's yeah. You just gotta figure a way to get free drinks, like I did. What's your way? What's My your way, way like? like, I would just oh, pretend oh. to be friends with random people at the bars that I would go to, and then they would buy me drinks. Wait, please. please. No way that worked. No, please. Sure no, like, please if we, like, I can tell you me. the exact bar. Like, well, I'm not going to tell you the exact bar, but I made, because because it was down the street from a job that I had, and I think I've talked about the circuit before to you guys, but I don't know if I've said it on the podcast. The circuit is after work, all the friends from work would... We would get off at two in the morning, go to the bar that was down the street. That bar would close at four. We then go to the strip club. Strip club closes at six. We then go to another bar that opened at six. And then we would leave at like 10, whatever, go to sleep, come back to work at like five, do it all over again. This sounds so like, because this sounds yeah, awful I'm, to me. It, uh, it was fun. It was fun for the time. Um, like I could get I through that for maybe three days. <laughs> we did it. We did it like almost every, almost every day. Almost. Now, I, I say yeah, that, but a couple I, times I've definitely we're... done like shows and things where everyone just goes out after every night. So maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe. Um, what kind of drunks are you guys? I'm a happy drunk. You happy? Mark drunk? is a happy drunk. I've had a voicemail for him. <laughs> he do happy drunk. Is it yeah, a playable yeah. voicemail? It's no, I don't have it on me anymore. Damn. I got I, unfortunately it's gone. Um, no, Mark's a happy drunk. I am a playful i'm a huggy drunk huggy, i am, a, you're a I am the guy that will give you there, hugs lot, uh, uh, even if you ask for it or not i'm a stumbler that's, i, that's I my will tell you type. you will hear at least 20 times how much i love you <laughs> <laughs> no i'm a stumbler so like I, it's just before. a constant battle yeah. to make sure i'm not on the on my ass on the floor uh i remember no i'm a very functional drunk unfortunately mm -hmm. see i remember even that, even that night, it's like I never, I was not blackout or anything like that. I will say I was hungover for two days after that. I get really bad hangovers. Nah, I've never, I've never gotten a hangover before. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've, I've been like so drunk to the point where it's like hard for me to walk. Mm. But I've never been, I've never, I've never had a hangover before. Worst, worst I get is I get really thirsty. Like I get super dehydrated. Mm -hmm. Have you guys, I get, I get, I get nasty hangovers. Have you guys ever tried hair of the dog? Does that work? I, I don't know. I never tried it. No one? No, never tried it. I never tried because I never needed to. Hmm. Well, I'm going I just to the deal with it. List. I don't know what we put on there this week. But, um, but yeah, I got really drunk to the point where, um, or, or I, I would, I would get free drinks like to the point because I would go to that bar so often that I, I made friends with all the workers there. And the, the only reason why I say that I would get free drinks all the time is because I never noticed until they pointed it out to me. They were like, Mark gets free drinks. Like, it, it, it's so weird how often he gets free drinks. And I'm like, I don't know. Mm. Just do it. Because uh -huh. when I go out, because I don't go out often anymore. But back then, I would go out to, like, talk to people. Like, because cause I just, I, yeah. I I wanted to, like, just socialize and shit. Mm. So I would get, I would actually be socializing but I'm, I'm, when I meet people for the first time, every time without fail, I lie about shit. Um, I can't help it. It's just something that I do. And then when I meet them again, um, you have to remember the lie. I'm the same. I don't, I'm well, the same no, way. it depends. It depends. Cause sometimes if it's a person that I know I'm going to like be like, like is either a cool or B, I'm going to see them very often. Then I'll, then I'll like just admit to it or I'll, I'll like let it fizzle out and let them forget about it and then tell them the truth another time. But if it's someone that I know I'm not going to see often or someone that I don't give a shit about, like just some rando off the street, um, I will I will commit to the lie. Uh, I do the uh, same thing. <laughs> I do. The, no, it's, it's, it's a fun game. It's a fun game. It's a straight up. It's a super fun it game. Is. It, so I'll, I'll go to a bar and I will I will like I like I'll, I'll go to a bar. I know I'm probably not going to go back to. It, and I'm like, my brain is like, I'm like half a there to the bar. I'm like, what kind of lie can I come up with? Like, but who am I today? 
Who is yeah, this tells, person yeah, going to this bar? Become a different person, yeah. Yeah, become a different person. It's it really is fun. the best. It is the best. I feel like, like I had a, like, there was this one this guy that them. worked at the bar, and then he stopped working there for whatever reason. But for for a while, everyone thought that he was uh, my brother. And and he was like, D are people asking you if you're my brother? Because I'm getting asked that. And I was like, yeah, I get asked that all the time. So eventually, me and him were just like, we should we should lie and tell people that we are brothers. We should do that. And then and then it literally spiraled just to an uncontrollable amount to where we're half brothers uh, on on our dad's side, and that uh, we lived with each other when we were babies. And he was older, but he had to move out because of his dad, and then or because of his mom. And then uh, his sister is hot, and I wanted to bang her at one point, but then he said no. It it became it. This this little tiny white lie because we kept it going for so long just ended up just snowballing to to absolute no control, and then it 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 didn't blow up in my face, but it kind of blew up in my face <laughs> to where the the like some of our friends our mutual friends actually believed it, and then eventually we had to be like, yeah, you actually believe that shit? No, oh. we, were, we were messing with people. Oh, yeah. We were no. messing with people. <laughs> it's like, I actually thought you were brothers. It's like, <laughs> me. <laughs> me, and, uh, me and Jake have a similar thing. Not that we're asked if we're brothers, but everyone asked if we're gay and we're lovers. <laughs> Tell me you guys go yes. See, Sometimes I've been trying to convince yeah. him to say yes and just per do exactly what you were doing with the brother thing. He he he, he, he he's like, no, I can't. I'm trying to like, like, uh, 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 uh like pick some people up here. Like, I can't do this. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta you gotta pick you gotta pick the time. It's, it's choosing yeah. your battles. It's like I'm trying to pick up chicks here. We can't do that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> can't yeah, do that. yeah. yeah. Can't he, do yeah that. he can't we, do if he's picking up chicks. But if you guys are like, going fucking, to the mall? like we we yeah. were just at a wedding for a buddy of mine, <laughs> and. Jeez, Malachi, I'm sorry. Um, Did he pick up anybody? No, but he. Oh, then he should have fucking done it. <laughs> he he was he was look. Let's just say he was looking at those bridesmaids a little hard. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, bridesmaids? No, bridesmaids are bridesmaids are never single men. No, nah, I think most of them were. Oh yeah, yeah. You can get single bridesmaids. What are you on about? I've done with plenty of bridesmaids that were like not single. There's the whole deal about the fucking flowers and shit. Yeah, that's the whole thing. And the bridesmaids are trying yeah, to Yeah, but it. like they could be a relationship and catch the flower. Oh, they don't have they, to be yeah, single guess, for that. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. See, this In is fact, the most, civil, most of the time they the are civil civil relationship episode. and they're like, we're not going to do anything. I caught anything. it. We're now gentlemen. we're going to get married. We're gentlemen. And the guy's like, oh, fuck. She's crazy. <laughs> Uh, I never do you guys do you guys like the garter thing? I never I never I, I always hated that shit. Yeah, I think it's weird. I think it's weird. Oh yeah, I had the, to do that at my guy... fucking sister's wedding. <laughs> oh. And then I was like, no, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that. And then everyone was like, do it, Mark. Do it. And I'm like, no, that, that's Wait, been on thing? my sister's thigh. I'm not no, I'm not doing that. Are you more blown then, away that Mark that the, they had they were trying to get Mark to do this at his sister wedding, or more blown away the fact that Mark has a sister? Yeah, you I know Mark has a sister. Oh, I, didn't I have know an older that. sister. She's ten years older than me. Really? Yeah, yeah. That seems okay. That, uh, I don't want to ask it this way. Were you an accident? Yeah. Oh. Because that's hey a, that's... Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Johnny, you don't make things even worse. My my family is my family goes as followed: eight years, five years, ten years. Man, Jeez. those those fucking those are, those those shows yeah. that your parents those events that your yeah. parents work at. Yeah, did I just you should, blow uh, you your should get a DNA mind? test and see if <laughs> see if your mom did is I, actually your mom. Did I blow your mind? <laughs> see, it I I I I am confused. So my siblings, it goes it goes my siblings, it goes it goes it goes. Uh, well, it, for me, right? Okay, so it goes it goes five years. No, six. Sorry, six years. Five years, and then ten years. Huh. It's interesting to me because, uh, like, uh, my mom has a giant extended family full of people that, like, live to be a hundred and everything else that are all just, like, spread out throughout Tennessee. And my dad, when it comes to my dad's side of my family, it's me and him, and that's it. Like, that's it. Like, he might, I think he has one cousin off somewhere, but, like, it, it's so, like, 
few people that like it, it's nothing. So like anytime I and a lot of my friends have siblings. So yeah, hearing their sibling stories, it's just like something that's like as an only child. Like my parents had had a lot of trouble having me. Uh, so the <laughs> fact I just don't relate to any kind of. Uh, <laughs> Why are you laughing? Uh, just because Johnny's uh, opening up his heart to you, and you're like, ah, one, "Okay, you guys can have sex." Part one, part one uh, was when he said "giant extended family." For whatever reason, my brain went to "giant extended cock," and I just thought that was hilarious. You're a gentleman. You're a gentleman. This episode. You're a gentleman. This episode. And then, okay. and then you're he said, yeah, yeah. "You're a gentleman, Mark. You're a gentleman." <laughs> well, uh, that's what I thought he was gonna say, and I just thought that was funny. And then, <laughs> and then. And then I, uh, he said my, my parents had trouble having me and not having me as in, well, obviously he meant as in like birth, but yeah. I, I thought he meant like they were <laughs> like, he was, so, he was so troubled to them that, <laughs> that it caused them trouble. And then, and then my brain, and then I thought it'd be funny if his parents like thought to uh, like, um, put him for adoption. I just thought that would be funny. I just, <laughs> I just really thought that'd be funny. At, at, in my mid twenties. I Yeah, I exactly. <laughs> Um, no, and I I forget where I was going with this, but li- listening to anyone talking about uh siblings, because Jake's like that too, and like a lot of my other friends are all. I have one friend who she's kind of like my sister because like we were just born the same year, and our parents always hung out, so it's the closest thing I have. And she was also an only child. Uh, but hearing anyone else talking about um sibling stuff, it kind of fascinates me a little bit. Because I just—it's mm. something I can't relate to. Mm. So it's like uh, I don't know. That's why you read books. Books are good. Read a book, what? kids. I don't know. Does like see different. What does that have to do with books? Or, like see different things. Understand things you don't. Learn. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> this is what happened. What, what are you on about? This is the descent of every episode of the show, Mark. I mean, you're just saying shit that d- doesn't make sense. You're what do you want from me? You're how, is that, how is that? You no, want to know no, about no, things is that, that don't make sense at all? How is that my fault? How is this like the, 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 the fucking descent of every episode when it's you're the one saying some shit that doesn't make sense? Okay. If you want to talk about shit that doesn't make sense, have you guys seen the trailer for Cocaine Bear? Yes, I want to watch oh this movie God, so yes. fucking badly. I didn't know it was a real movie. Yeah, it is, and you know what? It's gonna be. It is. I've I've heard it, like people were describing it this way. I was like, that's perfect. It's gonna be this decade's snakes on a plane. Oh fuck! I am, oh, like I'm this has so to be a yeah, movie so you go that. see in theaters, right? Like it's called Cocaine Bear. I I'm so down for that, dude. I love that. It it just um that's one of those things where I'm like oh like name alone it's like that there was an interview with Samuel Jackson about snakes on a plane where he was where they were like yeah how'd you end up in that movie it was like well I knew the guy was making it and then I saw that there was an audition going around it was called snakes on a plane and he was called the guy who did it and was like you're making a movie called snakes on a plane it's like yeah <laughs> can I be in it yeah and then the interviewer was even like um. So you were in the movie for the same exact reason that everyone went to go see the movie. <laughs> like, that's what that is. Like, you do- don't go into that Snakes on a Plane without wanting it to be called and deliver on Snakes on a Plane. You know? <laughs> like, that's I mean, one of those wild on the plane. theater experience. I Like, the theater stories you hear out of that movie. And I'm so excited. If, if Cocaine Bear is on this big screen. Matt, have you seen this? No. Okay, so I'm going to put this in italics. Based. Based. And in quotations, I mean, based on a true story. The basic, no, it's a bear that, that like did a bunch of... Oh, I have seen this! Uh, no, I have. A bear, a drug dealer jumps out of a plane, the cocaine hits the ground, and a yeah, bear finds yeah. it and starts terrorizing a town. I yeah, no, well, the thing it. is, Johnny, you said put it in quotation. I remember hearing about this. Yeah, I've I remember heard about this story, story before. Too. It's insane. But the actual story is like, basically, a drug dealer jumped out of a plane with a bunch of cocaine strapped to his body. In fact, there was so much cocaine that he was weighed down and his parachute didn't work right. And he hit the ground. <laughs> 
And then the bear came along was like, hey, what's this body? And what's all this white powder? I'm a bear. Yeah. And then what's all this white powder? I'm a bear. I like white powder. And so the ba- bear ate a bunch of the cocaine and immediately overdosed is what happened. But, oh, I thought it actually did attack the fucking. No, it, no, it just it happened. overdosed and died, uh, which is that the sucks. sad part. But this movie that's based around that is so much easily going to be like, oh, we're go- we're gonna have a fun time movie. Like this is this is a drinker movie. This this is a catch a movie movie is what it is. This is a movie like that you're gonna go to the theaters and it's gonna be the loudest rowdiest party group you've ever seen. Speaking of catch a movie, have you done Father's Day yet? We have not. We have not. We just did Predator Two. <laughs> you got to do Father's Day. But there's a long list. There's there's a friends of of ours that want to come in. One of them wants to do John Wick. The other one wants to do He's All That. What's the uh What's the movie with the girl that is trapped in time? Is that Father's Day? I don't know. No, 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 no. Death, death Day. Happy Death Day. Happy Death Day. Happy Death Day. That's a good one for it too. The thing with Catch Movie. The thing about Catch Movie is. Not every movie is a catch movie movie. It has to be the perfect balance between good, terrible, and hilarious. You know, like there's this weird. You just described Father's Day. Yeah, that and that's a, that is a good one. But we need like it, it. That's why horror movies work so well for it. But like we couldn't watch. Happy uh, Death Day. Like there's very few legit good movies. Like the when we saw Predator One, it's awesome. Like and that was a great thing. Watching Predator Two is, I think, probably actually a better commentary because it's a weirder, stupider movie. You That's know? like watching Aliens and an Alien, like watching Alien and Aliens. Yeah, I don't think we could watch. We might get away with Alien One or something like that because it is got a lot of horror stuff. But Alien Two is almost legit too good of a movie. You know, Alien Two, Aliens. I don't. I didn't care for Aliens. I liked Alien. I like Alien way more than like Aliens. Like we could never watch like the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly or something like that. Or like uh, we also don't do a lot of comedies on it because we're the ones that's supposed to be making fun of it, and just listening to an audio track of us laughing at jokes, not super entertaining to me. Yeah. So like we've got a list like. Uh, I keep a list on my phone of like movies that we want to do. I, I think one of the the big ones we want to do sometime soon. We're definitely doing Die Hard in December because it's fucking Die Hard. You should do. You should do a, a, one of the bad ones. You should do like Die Hard three. Die Hard three. Is that the airport? No, that's two. Which one's With, Die the, Hard? 3? Whichever one had Shia LaBeouf in it. Oh, that's like Die Hard four. That's like yeah. That's one. Of Is the... it four? I thought it was three. It's like four or five. There's four Die Hard movies. There's five. There's like five, dude. There's Jesus five or Christ. six. There's a lot. Yeah, of there's hard. a lot of diehard movies. There, there was a at, at this point, I don't think Bruce Willis even wants to do it. He just thinks that it's f- funny. Well, Bruce Willis he just, just, he just wants the money from acting because he had he's like in it. yeah he, he's in them. <laughs> he he's um he he had like a a speech thing that like was getting out of control, so he retired now. Um, also, with Happy Death Day, the only memory that I have of Happy oh yeah, Death what's your Day story about Death Day? Is is having sex with my ex girlfriend at the time, um, and and so like her bed was like this way, and her TV was like this. So then I like you know I was in that position, facing the bed, and then the TV was over here. So I'm just in the middle of me having sex. I just keep looking over at the TV, watching Happy Death Day. <laughs> that's the only t- that's the only memories that I have of Happy Death Day. You should you watch it. It's it's a, it's a good <laughs> twist on like not only like the Groundhog Day formula, but also like some some. It's written really horror. well. Like yeah. like I said, I have I, like, no. I it's a legit movie. good movie. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like under Groundhog, some special it's circumstances. Like, it's like Groundhog Day mixed with like some other things that makes it like really really good. Have you guys yeah, ever seen Palm Springs? Really well. What have either of you seen Palm Springs with Andy Samberg? Yes, yes I have. Fantastic. Oh, you know what? I wanted to watch that. I have I don't have any any streaming platforms right now to watch it on though. Uh, it's really good. It's on my list. Yeah, it's 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 one of the movies that I would say go into it knowing absolutely nothing. I didn't yeah, even 100%, know about 100%. Like, the like th- I what I didn't know that it was doing that until I was in the movie and I was better off for it. Yeah, I so what happened with, with that movie, Johnny? I saw it and I'm like, oh, uh, Andy Samberg. So I watched it and I'm like, oh, oh, oh this is really this good. Is legit good. 
like a legit yeah. good movie. Yeah. Um, is it like Uncut Gems where uh, he can actually act really well? I, yeah, I'm not, I would say. But, that, yeah. Well, the thing with Adam Sandler, I have always, always argued that Adam I, Sandler is really good at serious acting. Me too, oh. but you don't have any evidence to back that until Uncut Gems came out. No, it's not no, true. No, you definitely he, do. Uh, you definitely do. Yeah, uh, Punch the Drunk one, Love and uh, that 9-11 movie. The one movie. with the, the 9-11 one. Yeah. The one where he's a firefighter. That, that one was really good. <laughs> what the fuck? There's a movie where what? he's a firefighter and his family died in 9-11 and it's like a like a study on him and like his emotional journey. It's really yeah. good and I cannot what? remember the name of it. He I don't know playing, what you're talking about. The only play, Adam Sandler played, movies uh, that I know are the crazy ones with, he played, with the he guy played, with the um, nose shit. He played a... Uh, like, uh, there was a video game he played a lot. Uh, it was... um, Fuck, what was it called? It was a PS2 game. PS2. Um... That's why I remember like vividly from that movie because I played the game oh, at the same gosh. time. I was watching and I the would movie. say the same thing about Punch Drunk no. Love. It was um, it was Shadow of Colossus. He played a lot of Shadow of Colossus in that movie. Oh, and it was like his whole thing. I was like his therapy. He would just play that game. Uh, I've never seen. A, I've never seen the, Adam Sandler. The movie was really good. It was just one of those like like what the fuck is this Adam Sandler movie? Mm-hmm. I have never seen Adam Sandler act well until I saw Uncut Gems. But yeah, I knew he, he did it on purpose. I just never had any evidence to back it up. Yeah, no, he he had the capability. It was just like you know, and I can respect. He just this. didn't care. He, he was just he just wanted to do these other things. And honestly, it, it, actually, it's really that. funny. It's really funny because he um he talked. He, he, I think I think I forgot where where he said it, but he he talks about um all those all the shitty movies he did, like grown ups and stuff. He did it specifically because he just wanted to make his friends rich. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot yeah. where he said it, but at one point he he said like, "Yeah, I just do all these movies to make my friends money." Yeah, I think that's. I think <laughs> I believe you know, it. I really can't argue with that. No, you know? same. <laughs> like when it's it's like, alternatively, it's like yeah, I made a bunch of money for the the studio or for myself or something. But like if you're if I was just like, if I had the opportunity to just be like, hey, all my friends, you wouldn't like come like make this movie with me and like i'll pay you like a million dollars or something like that and it'll be like and it's not my money it's it's fox you know yeah, it's the same reason why all the same actors are in his movies all of his movies like every si- like if you watch it you'll David see Spade, all these rob same people schneider, like rob schneider uh, kevin smith not kevin smith, kevin, kevin smith kevin james the, the uh what the, the wow guy I forgot his name the wow guy wow okay so first you know of all, what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, okay, I got it. I, I got I, I, I got the oh, uh, I forgot the movie. I, I was I was too busy like looking at like what movie was it called when he was playing the Shadow of Colossus and like his kids died in 9 11 and stuff. It was called the movie was called Rain Over Me. Yeah. And the, the purpose of Shadow the the whole purpose of the movie and the, how the movie got made was because the director played that game. It was like he's trying to resurrect resurrect the the you know, the main character is trying to resurrect his girlfriend who died. Yeah. And that was the whole like premise of the movie, Move. and they tie that into the game. Like that's the premise of the game as well. It's which is super cool because that that's exactly that game is amazing for anybody who's never played it. It's an amazing game. Um, have and we yeah, been, have we been gentlemen long enough? Can we get to my ridiculous things that I put in the in in the topics list? I want to not talk about it because I know it's just gonna make me mad. It's not gonna make you mad. You you know what, Mark? I'll let you pick one. Just look at the things I put in there. I can talk now about. I want to pick the ones that I know are gonna make me mad. Just the, there's three <laughs> options for you. You know, I, I and you, you I already talked about cocaine bear, so you don't have to use that one. But but two of them were were conversations I had with people. The other one is a story, and you can. What is Hitler's dog? Okay, <laughs> okay. I feel like that one's gonna make me really mad. No, okay. So, I was reading an article or a book or something. I was I was looking at something that was talking about um when Hitler killed himself. He he had cyanide pills, but he <laughs> That's was That's a way to start a story. When Hitler killed himself. <laughs> when Hitler was in his bunker and like the fucking <laughs> the fucking US, the Brits, everyone was knocking at that door <laughs> coming in hard. <laughs> Freaking, uh, he had these cyanide pills for him and his wife. He didn't just kill himself. He killed himself and his dog. <laughs> or he killed himself, his wife, and what? his dog. Yeah, didn't he have a wife and they yeah. killed him, uh, killed herself too? Yeah. So she, he, he shot him and his wife because he wasn't certain that the, the cyanide pills were going to kill them. So he just gave those to the dog. 
And this is sad. Yeah, he just gave this oh, to the shit. dog and then Did shot the Did he name the, the dog wife. Adolf? Was it a German Shepherd? <laughs> I made the joke to Jake. It was like, you know it was like a golden retriever with blue eyes, right? It had to be. <laughs> I was, it had, I, it had I, to be the Aryan dog. I've always wanted to I've always wanted to get a German shepherd and name it Adolf. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because it's funny. The but <laughs> do it for the meme. <laughs> it's funny. I and this is how my fucked up brain works is I went immediately went and was like how it's probably for the best that he killed the dog too cuz what would you have done with that dog? If, what do you mean? if the dog lived, if you lived, it's like, oh shit, now, we, it, Hitler's dead. What do we do with his dog? Oh, I mean, like the U.S. would probably take it. Would um would not you... not for because it could have secrets or whatever, but just because to take it, <laughs> it has whoever secrets. has it, yeah, whoever had it would definitely taxidermy and put it in the Smithsonian. I guess I was 1, just thinking percent. about who's taking care of Hitler's dog for the rest of its life. Well, that, I, I don't think they. I don't think they. They keep it as Hitler's dog. I think they just keep it as we found this dog in Hitler's bunker. What do we do with it now? No, but and then he, someone just takes it and just like, oh, you're no longer oppressed or whatever. I guess you're right. But my, meanwhile, my, my the dog is speaking like... German and plotting <laughs> the, the the rise of the Fourth Reich. See, they don't know. They don't know that, that, that secretly this dog just, has been plotting. I was just thinking, like, what what do you do? Like, if 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 I was just presented with Hitler's dog, and mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, I can't. I don't want to kill a dog, but it's Hitler's dog. It's like what does that have to do with anything? Because the dog doesn't know what the fuck is <laughs> what? You, that, that's what I'm thinking. It's like, does the dog? The, it, you don't do anything to the dog. You just have the dog. It's <laughs> just stop. <laughs> Why do you what? <laughs> What does like that... it's the the dog is not a, a Nazi. Like what the fuck? Well, that's what I'm considering. Like, is the dog gonna like freak out? Like, if it sees like like so, like uh, any animals other... do that anyway. I had a friend who hated me because I was brown. I guess I that's like... what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that like if I if I if I if if I had Hitler's dog, and like I went to like a, a Jewish deli or something, that the dog's just gonna lose its shit. Well, any dog is, or any animal is like that. Like, I, I had a friend, again, I had a friend who hated me. Every time I came over to this friend's house, the dog would, would bark and start growling at me and all all this shit. And he's like, she never does this when you're here. It's she's racist. You. It's just Yeah, I think she's racist. How do you prevent and, and that in dogs? It wasn't just me either. It was a it was a Dominican guy, uh, friend that we had, too. It was literally only brown people. I gotta, I, you gotta ask, like, how, what does that... How do you prevent that? Because no one well, wants the racist dog. I mean, you just, you, you don't. Uh, who cares? Just... Yeah, but, like, I would like, like, I have a lot of, like, people of color friends who come over to the house, and if my dogs, like, flipped out every time they came over, I would feel really bad. Uh, sorry about that. Was on I think you're just thinking too much about it, because at the end of the day, it's a fucking dog. Who cares? Okay, so my second question. The dog question. is not going to vote Trump into presidency. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> well, hang on, hold Matt, on. Matt, you How missed a fuck? lot. I was, I was talking I, about. I did. Okay, but it's over now because we're gentlemen. The, the, we're the dog is not going to be like holding tiki torches and holding protest. Like, who cares? It's a fucking dog. Matt, what, if it bothers you that much, give it away. You give it to somebody. Matt, what would Should you do racist? with Hitler's dog? With Hitler's dog? Yeah. So, like, you've got Hitler's dog, right? Like, and you know that that dog was Hitler's. What is the dog racist? That's what I'm wondering. Is the that's the that's the conversation? Yeah, yeah, we're trying to figure that out. It's like I don't think so. It's a dog because it's I like not, I don't I don't well, want dog, to, animals I, can be racist. Animals can see people we with have, different skin would pigments we, and give a shit. The U.S. have killed the dog. Is what I'm wondering. I don't think the U.S. would have killed the dog. I think. Oh, I think, they would have killed the dog. No, I don't think. I don't think they would have killed the dog. I think. I feel like. I, at least with the glorified media, like with like again, I think of like I think of like Call of Duty, like Big Red One. Those guys were like really like like heart and and like Karen and shit and caring and shit. I feel like they would have found the dog and be like, oh, it's a dog. And then and then they keep the dog, and then they they go home and then they bring to their wife, who, who and baby who just, who was born before they were shipped I... out. Um, you know what I would do? They raise the dog with their baby, and then the baby doesn't know that the dog is racist. So he looks on his uh, when he becomes an adult, a thirty-year-old man. He looks back on the on the pictures fondly, 
knowing that he had a childhood dog but then the grandpa when 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 his grandparent when he when the kid has a has a baby at this point because it's been about 40 or 50 years he 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 has a grandkid and then the grandkid asks to, for the grandpa to tell stories and he tells him about the time he was in world war ii and then eventually uh, there's so many stories he, he relays the information of hitler's dog and he's like yeah we found this dog in this bunker and then eventually the 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 dad like just shatters mentally because his childhood dog w was was hitler's dog and then he loses his shit and then and then he he just leaves his family and then the kid has no no father to grow up and then he he grows up to resent his father and then he 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 becomes he becomes a supervillain like it's the first time first ever supervillain and the supervillain that he chooses to to model himself after was Adolf Hitler in the first place it's a crazy M Night Shyamalan twist and then eventually he he ends up uh, becoming the Fourth Reich, the leader of the Fourth Reich, and then taking over the world. And then he starts a company <laughs> that will get uh, accused of tax fraud and, and Jeff found Bezos! guilty. Jeff Bezos. <laughs> no, I was, I was gonna say Trump. Bring but... it all. Did you guys see that shit? I get what you're saying. Did you guys see the tax fraud shit? For what? For one of Trump's companies, they were like, "Yeah, you're definitely guilty of tax fraud." Oh yeah, I saw that. So I mean, we all knew that. Really fucked up shit, dude. Thank you we, for the closure, though, Mark. Thank you for the, that. You know what? You've painted the scene. <laughs> I'll, I'll accept this reality. <laughs> I think you, just, you help my I'm just, This is what dude, happens. I'm just imagining this... a little like shih tzu, a little shih tzu with like a little Hitler mustache. <laughs> no, we established that's that. It... <laughs> that's all I imagine when you say Hitler dog. <laughs> no, we established that it was definitely a golden retriever. Do you guys? Did you guys ever oh, watch Preacher? No. No, I did not. <laughs> or yeah, I saw like I saw the first little bit of it, and I read a little bit, just the, the barely any of the comic, and I was like, eh, I mean, oh, it seems cool. I don't know if this is in the comic or not, but in in the show, they make it, like, someone goes to hell. Yeah. Um, to, Spoiler alert, but someone goes to hell. Someone goes to hell? Yeah, it was straight up hell. And then, um, And then in hell, this character meets Hitler. And he ends up being like a good person now after years of being in hell and being tormented. And then he, he gets like, he, he, he has a character arc in the show. It's really crazy. I never got to see the last season, so I don't know how it ended turning out. But it, I left it on Hitler. He, he escaped. He escaped hell. He escaped. And he came back on planet Earth. And, and he was working at like, like a fucking subway or some shit. <laughs> and he was turning all the, the, the employees that worked at the subway into Nazis. Oh, no. But he didn't call them Nazis oh. because he knew that, the, you know, it's he called been them some time. So they would. Yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> not, not Republicans. But he, he would be like, yes. And then, like, he, I remember so he sat behind the building with three of his three of his coworkers. And he's like, yes. And this is how we institute a revolution. And then and then that's all I remember. <laughs> I just I just thought that was so fucking funny. Well, you've given me closure on the dog argument. Can you can you give me closure <laughs> on this other thing I wrote down that's also ridiculous and has to do with tragedy? D and D nine eleven. Yeah. So this was the other question me and Jake had. We were we were just talking. It was like, man, it, like it had something to do with like what people were doing during nine eleven. Like, where were you? What do you remember? You know, like how everyone remembers. And I was just like, imagine if we were like playing Dungeons and Dragons with our with our group. And you just, it's 2001. It's 2001, and we just get the news that, like, uh, we're playing Dungeons & Dragons, and we just get the news. It's like, all right, the Twin Tower got hit by uh, by a plane. My, my, Did you guys... my question was, would we continue playing the game? No, I feel like you wouldn't. But no, my thought, thing, we, right? we figured my, this out. We figured this out. We already, this was already established. Yeah. No. Can I can I paint the picture real quick? Yeah, go ahead. You guys are you guys are playing D and D, right? Yeah. You guys are sitting down. And you guys are playing D and D. It's a really intense gaming session, yeah. right? And I'm uh, the, the next master. person is rolling a d twenty, and you guys are fighting in twin towers. And it's a nat Severus. one. It's a nat it's one. It's a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> and a dragon comes in and destroys the one tower, and your other buddy was like, "Hang on, let me do my other stuff." So you're at a nat twenty, natural twenty. And a second dragon comes in, hits the other tower of Sap that Seth Ross, and the towers crumble. Are you a monster or are you guys just winning the game? So my theory was that we you get the news first tower drops. Mm -hmm. 
I think we keep playing the game. I would, I would, dice in hand. Because you would have just been like, you, okay, something bad happened. Dice in hand, return to Johnny Blake. I, I just had a thought that only I and Steve Urkel has ever had this in my entire life. No, no. Did I do that? No, it wasn't a dice curse, okay? But first tower, you're good. Keep playing the game. Uh -huh. Second tower goes down, and I think we're stopping. I think, I think you're fine until someone bursts out. They got the Pentagon! <laughs> and then you stop, and then everybody shits their pants. Yeah, yeah, that was that was what we were thinking. Because like first ha for you, first tower gets hit, you're like, okay, this is like a tragedy or something. Something bad's happening. Second tower happens, and you're like, oh no, this wasn't a coincidence. It wasn't just like a plane falling out of the sky. The Wait, well, so you think? Yeah, you think the first one happens, and you're like, oh, well, it must I have think, been a coincidence. No, it's fine. No, I think if the first one hits, and it's you're it's two thousand one. You know, like you're not you you were not all on smartphones. Pilots are drinking. You're, you're probably thinking like, oh no, that plane, like crashed and hit there. You don't think it was aiming for it. I don't think you'd think that. I genuinely because, I, okay, it was literally like seconds between the two, wasn't it? It was. It wasn't even. It like, was like five. It was. It was like. It was a couple seconds between the two, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't like first one hit and then an hour I passes it, by and then the second one hits. I thought it was at least like a couple minutes. <laughs> no, I've seen, because I've, I've seen the video, like the videos on like YouTube and stuff where it happens. It, it was like a loud boom and then they're like, what the fuck was that? And then they hear another loud boom. And then that's huh. the second plane hitting the second tower. Huh. Here's, a, here's the thing that, uh, uh, that's going to like maybe make me feel a little older than I really am. Do you guys remember that? that? Incident? I don't. 9-11? No. I was, I, I was too young. Well, the thing is, the thing is, Matt, it does make, doesn't make you feel old because there are people exactly my age who do. Who I do, think it's yeah. it, it just depends on, like, And who there's who only a couple years gap right. between me and you is the thing. I, I like, I just, yeah. and by the way, I, I, I was definitely old enough that I should, I could have, well, I could have remembered it, maybe. Yeah, no, same. I could have remembered it. I was, like, yeah, six. We were, but we were, I like, just in don't. school, and my, and, like, I got taken out of school, and I'm like, what's going on? And my mom was like crying and stuff. Yeah, my mom, my mom was uh was told me about it. She she picked me up early from school that day. That's all I. That's all my I know. uncle's there. See, I don't think I was in school yet. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm also I mean, my my first memories are like really late, like later than what most kids should like remember. Hmm. Like my one of my earliest memories uh, was you getting beat. It's kinda. Jesus Christ! That was, oh my God! One of my earliest memories was I was a kid and I really liked to cook. Like I and I still like cooking. I sent you guys photos of my cooking and Mark. Mark complimented me and I was very happy. I was like, "Oh yay! I got Mark's <laughs> approval." <laughs> um, I got approval because that's hey, all I'm really searching for. Uh, and for some reason, my parents wouldn't let me use real knives to cut things because I'm a child. But they would give me that's not like, some reason because you're a child. They would give me like these these like serrated butter knives to like do, and I wasn't doing. And but I tried to split an apple in half, and I slipped. And there's a scar on my hand where the knife plunged in and scraped my, through my hand. And I remember Jesus. having to go to the hospital to get it like. I don't know if they even stitched it up. I was just young, and they glued it back together. Yeah, when you're young enough, they literally just get, like, some... Super like, glue. It's super glue, but it's, like, a special it's medical, like, super, medical glue. super glue or some shit like that. Yeah. No, nah, but when I was... I mean, my earliest memories are me just being in pain and hurting. I remember, like, I broke one arm, and then not too long after that, I broke up the other arm for dumb reasons. And then I broke my pinky in, in elementary school. Like, all my earliest memories are just me being hurt. That, and I remember there was a Protestant church that my mother dropped me off for daycare. And I have just the vaguest memory of when I was, like, a toddler toddler. And I just have the vaguest memory of what that room looked like. Like, I just, like, barely, a, barely like, a shape and a color, you know? Yeah. So, uh, like... I don't know. I've been. I, I I remember my like. I remember. So when I, I I tell people that I like I've been watching anime since before I can remember. Um, I ge that's genuinely true. Like when I was a kid, I watched Full Metal Alchemist with my sister. Yeah. Uh, the original. Um. Before and I don't even remember it. Um. 
And I also watched like Gargoyles with my mom. Dude, I watched Gargoyles a lot of nerdy shit. shit. Yeah, I watched. I've 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 been a lot, I've been on the nerd grind my whole life. Dude, um, Gargoyles is such a good show. But I didn't have See, look at Johnny started about Gargoyles. I was it's so <laughs> good, man. Like it's like like it's a legit like super dark, super good show that like has these really well written characters and like lore That's based me, around sorry. it. I just love it. And it was always on at like one in the morning. Yeah. That was probably that's probably why I'm I'm so into dark shit now. But I, I we were poor, so I didn't have I didn't have like the newest gaming shit. So I knew a guy who had um I didn't remember his name. He uh, had a he had a PSP and um he had the Incredibles game and he he had trouble fighting the bosses. He would always make me do it cuz I could do it. Did you be it? You were a pro gamer even then. Every no, every time, and he was like, "Are you my brother or something? Cause, <laughs> cause you're beating these, you're beating these guys." And I'm like, "Yeah, it's not not hard." <laughs> I was I was a little shit, dude. I, I no, it wasn't I until can't recently imagine child life, Mark. That, <laughs> like child Mark seems like a right. kid you would want to punch. Yeah, recently, no. child Mark, child Mark was is a, was recently? was a piece of shit. Wait, the Matt, if you think I'm bad now, you, I need you. You should <laughs> let me tell you something, man. I know you for years, man. I'm telling you, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. If you think I'm bad now, recently listen. means like five days ago. Like I'm that. just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Before before we met, I was a little shit. I was a little shit in uh, high I'm school, not middle flaming. school. I'm just saying. I'm just. But this stupid son of a bitch. I'm not flaming. I'm just saying. Why do you have the soundboard? <laughs> he was so I fixed it recently. <laughs> he was so ready to play that. <laughs> Mark, yeah. that was really fast. Because <laughs> because I, I have I I did some DIY recently. My whole setup is DIY. I, I plan on making a video about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, like you know, my green screen. It's fucking. It's literally green tape. Um, yeah. but I I did some I did some DIY to my my stream deck to where I like I like screwed it into my desk. So it's a lot closer now. Instead of me having like reach over my desk because I have a wide desk, I can literally just reach over and like what? <laughs> what the fuck? It's, it's super. It's so much easier to press buttons on this thing now. That's what. That's what. Like I learned. Like what theater taught me was like just how to jimmy rig everything into working. You know. Yeah. I was. I was. I was tech in. Uh, in. In. So yeah. every year I did something different. That's the vibe. Every 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 year I did something different. Like my junior year, I helped out with student government a lot. Not because I, I cared about student government or anything. I just I, the shit that they did was cool, so I liked doing it. Like we painted and did all that. But I, um, I was the vice president of ITS, and that was just like it was like fighting a battle in a war you were losing because it was it was us versus the sports teams, man. Mm, it was yeah. off. It was just a constant battle. Of being like, hey, maybe we could like use the 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 uh, our dedicated like prop building space for props instead of like the marching band's equipment, or like maybe we could use our prop closet instead of like having all of this uh football player equipment and all this stuff being stored here. It it was a yeah. constant battle, and also there there was a period of time where our budget just didn't exist apparently, and. So our teacher was paying for ev she had a rich husband, but she was paying everything out of her own salary uh to in order to like put our shows on and stuff and then well, what's was, crazy like, is that first later our uh our our theater department head guy he, he everybody hated him <laughs> not even no i don't mean I don't mean us I mean the staff oh I mean us too us too, but I mean the staff he was just it was just annoying at all times. Um, to everybody, so we never got any funding. <laughs> so no, we just, I, I kind of like, just had to. <laughs> I'll never it out. talk shit about her publicly. She was, she was. I learned so much from that director. Uh, and she's legit, like one of the the uh, one of the most important people that led me into like my current like life and everything like that. But she, I, I will not lie, and she knows it. She was difficult to work with sometimes but that was just because of the position she was in and she had to work in you know uh, like you have well, to ours you, was ha just, you have was to like be that. that way if you want to get this shit done and i can respect no that. i mean i guess in a way but uh he, he ours was just he was just bad he was just like he asshole. was just 
He was just an asshole. Yeah. No, like, I'll never. <laughs> I will never call her an asshole. I was just say that she was. Ve- she was a very firm person. I'll never forget the time we were doing our very last show of that of our senior years, and I still it was... go to a Christmas party at her house. <laughs> That's weird. But we I all. Think, do. I think. Well, I think I think after after a certain amount of time, that's 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 like not. I don't because that group that group was close, like close, close. Like we all still talk to each other and stuff like that, and we all still work on stuff together. And we're we're everyone's trading phone calls with everyone, seeing how everyone's doing. So when mm. it's like, hey, we're all gonna be back in our hometown for Christmas. Let's just all on like the twenty third head to her house and have fun okay that's different you know that that's what it is is you know is uh, uh is that old old high school friends getting back together getting the band back together yeah you know yeah i'll never yeah. forget uh, you know we what were this... doing our last show and he this motherfucker he he's like trying to direct and shit and he's like this thing is just poorly written this thing is just the way it's written is just bad it was Meanwhile, we have two of the writers in the in the theater. Oh, because well, because <laughs> it was, there was like a camp in the in the earlier of the year where like people from the theater department would go and meet with like some fancy like high up theater people in in the in the Florida area and like write their own play. And then that was the one that we chose to do for our last show. Mm. So two of those people ended up deciding to be in it. And in, and he said that shit in front of those two people. In those, did like, he know? Of, of course he knew. Okay, like he I was going to say that there's a different, you know, there's spitting your foot in your mouth and then there's being an asshole and that's just being an asshole. Yeah. And then there was, there was, there was like one time the principal of the, of the school was there and she was like, the only thing you guys can't do is drill holes into the theater because we don't have a way to fix it and it'll be a hard time, blah, 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 blah. Again, he told us he's like, I don't care, just drill it in. It's like, dude, in. I can't. That's okay. what she said. Hey, if you're yeah. just gonna take the blame, take it. I mean, no, yeah, I mean that's what we ended up doing. It's just like I'll never like th- those moments. I'll never forget because it was just, it, it was, it was, it's so reflective of what I deal with now. Whenever I get a job, because I deal with like most of my bosses have been assholes, like that. I'll, I like like most, and not not to like you know, it's just rarely have I had a good boss. I think that part of the reason working in that theater and my, the reason I got to like ITS status and stuff was because of the attitude I had where I was just like, get it, get it done. I don't care how, what it takes. I, like just, just do it and do, have it done yesterday, you know? Uh, and I think that has helped me across the board for everything. Matt's, Matt's leaving. He's, he's done. He hasn't, he hasn't said a word in forever. Goodbye, Matt. He's getting a mixer. He's getting a Matt. Uh, we should talk shit while on him while he's gone. Which cut what, this out. What, That's what, another thing. Cut out fucking dead air like this. Like when he has to take the phone, cut it out. We were talking. We were doing the things. No, we weren't. We weren't really talking. Yes, we well. were. Was, we were talking was, about Hitler's dog. No, I mean not now. I mean, I mean last last week. What did we do last week? That was dead air. Last week he took the phone. He took a. He had to take a phone call. <laughs> oh, and I just like, but I feel like yeah. it's funny when like me and you were just making fun of him, like this. Well, it's funny when there's a point, but it's like if if it, if What's it your drags on for a certain amount of time. Attribute about Matt. What do you hate? Is it his bedspread that's on camera? <laughs> 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 is that it? Is that is? What's your least favorite part know. about me? What do you hate? I hate about you. Your constant virtue signaling. Why? When have I virtue signaled? Every time you bring up billionaires. I'm always. I, it's not virtue signaling if I actively hate them. That's virtue signaling because there's no. You are not actively doing anything to to combat that thing. You are just complaining to complain. I am. I am doing something. I support local business, and I try like what. To, there's a. I I go to my local coffee shops instead of like. Instead of like uh, the fucking Starbucks or something, or I try not. If I can get something not through Amazon, I'll get something not through Amazon. I'm doing my best. All right, as one man. I mean, fair enough. I just, I just think that it's it's unnecessary, and it, it it's just it's literally just complaining to complain at that point. Yeah, but you're forgetting the fact that people listen to this to hear people complain. 
They don't. No, they don't. Nobody listens to the to any podcast about people complaining and being like, "I like that." Like, yes, if they're they, if they're listening to a exactly political podcast, there are there are things that they are gaining from said political podcast. Like Hassan Abi, for example, he's always ranting about politics and shit like that. That's his whole thing. But he's he he has a big enough reach to where he is telling people to to go out and become like local leaders. Like people have become local leaders because of because of his talkings and shit like that. I'm not a fucking senator, man. I just... I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying that if you don't have that kind of reach, and and you're just complaining, then you're you're simply complaining to complain. It, there's no there's no gain from complaining about an X thing. I make. There's no. You're not gaining anything I, no, from I from doing that. I actually got into this conversation with with Jake not long ago about like what my role is in this kind of thing it, it had something to do with like uh, uh uh like jordan peterson or somebody it's like listen these people chose the route that they're in they put themselves in the public eye like this that means i get to make fun of them that that it doesn't that's well, no, i role. mean okay sure and that's my role but okay sure you can make fun of them but at, you are complaining to simply complain there is no there is no other I'm reason complaining for comedy's sake I'm sorry, no one, Ed. no one thinks it's funny to complain about shit. It is when you're making fun of these idiots. But you don't make fun of them. You can go back to any podcast. You're just like, oh, this f you're fucking. You're saying I never Elon made Musk. a joke about what how, about anything that they do. No, not when like especially with the like, Elon Musk shit. When Elon Musk came out, you were like, oh, you hear about this Elon Musk Twitter shit? That's I don't so think fucking we bad. We talked about oh, Elon goodbye, Twitter, Twitter on the podcast. Yeah, we, yeah, you did. Did we? You've we yes, put it in the topics you have brought list. it up. Did we ever talk about it? We yes, did. we talked about it in the podcast where we were all yelling at each other. Oh. You have brought it up. <laughs> that does not, you know, that what we did, doesn't narrow we it down. We talked about Matt. on Kami Wami podcast. <laughs> That's when we talked about it. And I apologize for leaving. I can. We, I was can like, we please I'm going to smell out. this gin. Can we fade fade this out on Kami Wami? Kami, is, is that? Are we done? Is there more to add? How long have we been podcasting for? Like an hour and a half, like hour and 15. Uh, I missed about our time for, do you guys have anything else to say? Um, uh, eat the rich. There you go. So. Is that happy? Does that make you? Oh, happy? bamboo monkeys. What was bamboo monkeys? <laughs> oh, did you put that? Yeah, you put that. In what was bamboo monkeys? <laughs> we can end on this i just it's just really funny because it, it, like think about a saying that sounds like something really racist but isn't oh, but it on. sounds extremely racist like like uh bamboo monkeys it's another word for panda okay yes but it sounds extremely racist but it's not Mark, this and seems just... like a game that you can get away with and me and matt can't it's just fun. That's just hilarious. Like, fi like thinking of something that sounds really racist, but isn't racist. I'm fading out. I, this is gonna get. Uh, but trouble. that's hilarious. It you is funny, funny, but I can't. I funny. cannot. <laughs> me, Matt cannot contribute. Stay yes, silent. You can. Stay you silent. Just fucking, you just say funny, say nothing. Fucking racist shit that isn't actually racist. He's fading us. <laughs> He's it's not actually us. racist. It's not bad He's because it's. Yeah. Anytime someone says the word, it's not grime, actually grime, racist. Grime you're diggers. Back, you're on the back. Grime you're diggers. on the wrong side of the equation. <laughs> you're on the, the wrong side. Digger. Fade out. Grind digger. <laughs> Fade out. What is a grind digger? It's a it's a person that uh that like like chooses the grind and stuff like in games. <laughs> Listen, or they're like I, I'm I, gonna grind. They're a grind digger. I, I, see, that's hilarious. I can't say a word about this after watching. <laughs> that's watching. hilarious. I I'm just, not saying I, a word of this. Predator Two goes up next week I when think, this does. I think, so I it, think it, you're, like, you're already gonna see a lot of bad stereotypes in that movie. I'm not. Uh, nope. I I plead the fifth. Johnny, I just think you are overreacting. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> to bring it all back around, yeah, you're right. You're right, and that's why that's what gentlemen do. Smurf taster. <laughs> you fucking smurf taster. <laughs> Is that people who eat grapes? No, it's people that that uh that like only ever smurf. They're a smurf taster. I'm fading. I don't out. think that works. I'm fading out of this. Remember, remember, ladies and gentlemen, always be a gentleman. Yay, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>